Hi guys, welcome to a hey Math Group. Today we're gonna do uh, a calculus word problem, so let's do it. A rectangular warehouse is to have 5,000 square feet of floor area and is to be divided into two rectangular rooms by an interior wall. The cost per running foot is 125 for the exterior walls and 250 for the interior wall. The question is, what dimensions will minimize the total wall cost and what is the minimum cost? Let's do it. All right, so I know that the area is 5,000. So let's understand the problem. You're gonna be having like a little box like this, okay? And then you're gonna have X and Y right here. Now remember, the inside is 125 and the outside is 250. Well, I'm going to go ahead and start with the area. I know that x times y is equals to 5,000. Then the perimeter outside is going to be 2x plus 2y. Well, remember, this piece here is going to cost 125. Now, I need to build the function of cost. So the best way of doing this is the following. The cost is going to be the perimeter outside, which is 125, times 2x plus 2y plus you have another wall right here and that's going to cost you 250 so 250 times y this is the important function but we need to put everything in terms of x now remember that y is also equals to 5,000 divided by x. I just divided everything by x and I can go ahead and build my function of cost. And I have uh, 125 times 2x, which is 250x plus 125 times 2y plus 250y plus 250y. Now let's clean this up and I have 250x plus 500y. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and substitute this y right here. So I have c of x equals 250x plus 500 and then I'm going to put here my 5000 over x and finally I can say that this is equals to 250x plus 500 times 5,000 is going to be 25, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all that over x. Perfecto. This is the function of my cost. Now I need to find the first derivative and find the critical points. So let's go ahead and erase this piece right here. And then let's remember here how many zeros I have. One, two, three, four, five. So I have five zeros. So, okay, so we have c of x equals 250x plus 25, one, two, three, four, five over x. Let's go ahead and find the derivative. Now, before I find the derivative, I always like to uh, fix this. I'm going to put this x to the top as x to the negative one times 25 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Perfecto. Let's do the derivative. And I'm going to have 250. And then this is going to be negative 25, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all over x squared. Once I find the derivative, I need to make it equal to 0. So 250 minus 25 over x squared equals to zero. I'm going to move all of this to the other side to make it positive. So I get 250 equals 2, 25, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over x squared. And I'm going to multiply both sides by x squared to eliminate the x squared. And I have that x squared equals 25 divided by 250, right? And then I do the square root and I get that x is equals to 100. And let me just double check that really quick, 25. And then do the square root, yes. And I have that x equals to 100. Okay, so we need to verify if 100 is actually a minimum. So remember, my derivative was equals to 250 minus 25 
divided by x squared. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, perfecto. So when I put 100 into the number line, I need to put values that are less than 100 and greater than 100. Well, I'm going to go ahead and pick uh, 50. When I pick 50, and this is 50 into the derivative, I actually get a negative number. And when I pick, let's say, 150, and I plug it into the derivative, I get a positive number. So yes, I actually have a minimum. Now, if you do the second derivative to verify your answer, I'm going to get here that this is going to be 0, and then this is actually going to be positive and then over x cubed. And you can go ahead and do it. When you plug 100 into the second derivative, you actually get a positive number. That tells me that 100 is actually a minimum. So this is beautiful because now I know that x equals 100. And in order to find y, I just do it 100 times y equals 5,000. Remember, this was the area. So y is going to be equals to 5,000 divided by 100, which is just equals to 50. Now, finding the cost is just very easy. Remember, the function of the cost was given at the beginning. So let's go ahead and just wrap up all our answers. All right, guys. So these are the answers. Remember, the dimensions are going to be x equals 100, y equals 50. And then the minimum cost, you just plug it into the cost function, which was 250 times 100 plus 500 times 50. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this problem. Please don't forget to watch our other videos. And also, thanks 